Great. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to our closing reflection session. Um, you've made it to the end of ABLE 2022. Thank you so much for hanging in there, for being patient with us as we've been online yet again. We are really, truly hoping that we're going to be in person in 2023, and we know there are going to be some opportunities to hopefully see some of you even before that at different conferences and events. So we're we'll looking forward to to that. I'm Tracy Penny Light. I'm the president of ABLE. If we haven't met, welcome. And um, we're going to just go through a few of our thoughts around what happened at this week's conference and, um, and give you a chance also to weigh in on um, your thoughts. So first, I just have to say a humongous thank you to the program committee. Um, they enabled me to for um, the first time go on a real holiday. And um, that was in celebration of my 25th wedding anniversary that happened in 2020, but it got postponed, of course. So that was such a gift. And, um, and then sadly um, have continued to <laughs> do the heavy lifting because um, I haven't been well, but um, I just can't say enough uh, to the committee for all of their work. Um, they really have made this conference even better um, than um, I could have expected, definitely improved on it from previous years. And um, I'm really just so grateful to, to and privileged to work with you all. So thank you. Please um, take a note of who is on the committee, um, Kevin and Christina and Helen, Candice, Amy, my chat is now covering up my list. Terry, Debbie, Kathy, Patsy, um, forget me, I'm not that important, and Eddie. Um, so yeah, you all rocked it this year. So thank you from all of us for all of the work that you put in, effort you put into this year's conference and you are signed up again. So um, <laughs> just take a deep breath now. I'll just give you a mindful moment to prepare yourself for next year. <laughs> I wanted to just remind you that we are, as I'm sure you figured out at this point, the international community, a practice for ePortfolio practitioners and researchers. And Patsy just led a great session on ePortfolio re Reboot that had us really actively thinking about um, how we could share better our um, resources, back best practices and research. So I know she's got um, a lot of things coming out as well. And we also are the place where um, AEPR lives. And thanks so much for the editorial board of the AEPR, the ABLE ePortfolio Review. Um, they do have a call for papers that's out and um, the pro la la proposals are due um, August 1st. And just so you know, in case you weren't at the publishing session, your proposals do not need to be extended it does not need to be a whole paper, 250 words. Here's the idea I'm thinking I'd like to write on. And so really do encourage you to consider doing um, that. We also have published in the past the um, ePortfolio Field Guide, which was a collaboratively um, created publication. We had um, members from all over the world contribute to that. We are hoping to work on a Field Guide 2.0. So watch for an opportunity to contribute because we want to hear um, from you. Um, we also had at this week's conference participants from the Institute on ePortfolios that the American Association of Colleges and Universities runs. Um, they are really fun to work with us with, and several of us um, have been privileged to work as faculty mentors with those teams. They are going to be putting out a call for participants for 2023. So you can find all of that information at aacu.org slash institutes. And we would love Love, um, to work with you in the future. Um, here are the QR codes to the various things that we've been mentioning already. Um, upcoming digital task force event, ethics task force events are coming up in August, uh, October, and beyond. Um, there's a chance for you if you want to present your own work at AAC and use forum on open learning and ePortfolios. That happens in January 2023. It'll be, um, I believe the forum will be virtual, but the AACNU conference proper is in person um, in uh, San Francisco. And the deadline for proposals for um, the forum is uh, August 15th, I believe. And then um, the International Journal of ePortfolios is always seeking new articles, and I encourage you to think about sharing your work there. Um, the deadline for their call for, for proposals is just 
December 1st, and I've mentioned already um, August 1st for AEPR. Um, we also have an opportunity for you to contribute um, to our collection of graphical takeaways. And so I'm going to give Helen just a quick moment to say a word or two about this. Hi, everyone. So we introduced the, ideal, the idea of a graphical abstract or takeaway at our ABLE conference in 2019 uh, at Bronx Community College. We're kind of resurrecting this idea to really invite all of our presenters and giving our presenters another opportunity to be able to share their work as well as uh, be able to kind of provide some their contact information for further networking. So we'll be re reaching out to all the presenters to ask them to create basically one slide. And here are two examples here of basically an image and as well as some any you know large big ideas uh specific takeaways um as well as a qr qr code if they like to actually link to their websites and so on again this whole collection will be made available um, in addition to our videos as well as the resources shared during the sessions uh, but just another way for you to connect with the able community and also be able to connect with um you know the people that you saw as well as the people you didn't see but in those sessions that you uh, had to miss and everything and just again wanting to make these uh, resources and as well as our community uh, more broadly available. Thanks Helen. Sure. Shark Tank, don't forget, um, we did postpone because we wanted to make more time and space to let the fishes flop around in the water in front of the sharks. Um, as Helen has noted here, it's hammer time. So we're going to be looking for um, you to submit your pitches to the sharks. Um, this, These are just really informal but fun ways for you to get information and feedback about um, potential projects or initiatives that you might have underway. It could be anything from I'm thinking of a new assignment or I'm developing a whole program, whatever. The sky's the limit or the sea is very deep. I'm not very good at these puns. Not as good as Kevin, that's for sure. Um, he is really good at bad puns. Um, so you, there will be lots of those infused into the event as well. That will be coming out in uh, September. So we hope to have you participate. It is super fun. And as you can see, not only do you get great feedback on your idea, but there are also prizes available to be won. So hopefully um, you will join us, as Kevin likes to say, it will be fantastic. Um, so I think that the knowledge um, that you and, and learning that you've all shared with us um, has been so evident in all of the sessions. This really is the best community, despite not feeling 100%. I got so energized over the last two days uh, getting to interact with many of you and so appreciate all of your sessions. Um, I just want to open it up to any of the moderators to weigh in on any thoughts that they have about the sessions. Kevin, surely there's a pun in there or 50. I don't feel like anyone felt like a fish out of water. Uh, <laughs> it's late in the day. Uh, but I would say that the level of participation was really high. So everyone decided to take a bite. Um, I was pleased because I walked away thinking um, that I have to redesign my entire course to make my ePortfolio activities even better and to have that level of inspiration from multiple sessions uh, as a moderator, uh, you know, it's it's nice, nice, nice. Thanks, Kevin. I agree. I have so many ideas. Um, in the shower this morning, I was like, pew, 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 <laughs> just bringing in all of the ideas from the various sessions. So thanks to all of you for all of your great work um, and for your willingness to share. I think sometimes we think that even in, if when things are in a formative stage that you know we shouldn't share it yet because it's not perfected and of course we all know that e-portfolios are about making connections they're iterative they're reflective so our community really welcomes um, ideas in progress and um, 
and we had a couple of those this this time around, but also fully fleshed out ideas that you know folks were were sort of saying and tell us what you think and how we can make it better. So I think that's how we can all make learning much more equitable and inclusive for our learners and and hopefully transformative while we're at it. So um, thank you all again for for your great work. Um, you know, next steps are always an important thing. You know, we, when we have uh, our ePortfolio initiatives, we always want to think about where we're, we're able to go next. And um, this is your opportunity to share ideas. At the beginning of the conference, I asked you to kind of keep in the back of your mind this reflective prompt around how you might use principles of digital ethics and design justice in your ePortfolio implementations and assessments. And um, I just wanted to give you a chance to feel free to add your ideas or your reflections to this Jamboard. You can see that um, the link is there on the slide and also um, is going to be in the chat for you. So you can just go right there and um, yeah, just give you a second or two to, to weigh in with any thoughts. Once again, if you've not yet used Jamboard, you can just click on this post-it note icon and it will, oops, not take you to the next slide, but it will it will pop up a, a, a post-it note for you and, um, and then you can just type in your answer. So I'll encourage you to do that. And as you do. I'm going to stop sharing that for a moment and share the Jamboard. Then we can see what is appearing. Rethink current language. Yeah, absolutely. It's funny how um, many words that um, are just part of our vocabulary that, you know, when we think about it, just maybe aren't as inclusive as they could be. So how we can make things more um, accessible to all of our diverse learners. Um, someone else says, I intend to put a greater focus on students thinking about their identities as learners within the, within the DEIB D context, which is fantastic. Thanks so much for, for sharing that. And for those of you who might be wondering um, what those letters stand for, in case you're not familiar, diversity, equity, inclusion, belonging, and decolonization. So um, that's so great. I was thinking, you know, again and again about how much more I really want to engage my learners in the process of designing um, and implementing ePortfolios. Um, you know, I think we got to start with some framing for them, but then having them be part of the process makes it that it's theirs. And, um, and so I've been thinking a lot about ways that I can do that in my own context. We've got another one that's popped up. The sessions challenge me to pollinate between social media and e-portfolios. Oh, love that. Um, I was reminded that the whole is as important as the parts, which sometimes slips away um, from view when using e-portfolios for learning outcomes assessment. Yeah, thanks so much for sharing that. Agreed. You know, always keeping, you know, I think these these questions, these prompts in mind, you know, how am I making this um, really inclusive and equitable? What additional what additional resources might I need? And um, we don't all have to be experts in DEIB. Um, uh, DEID, but um, BD. <laughs> so many letters. Um, I'm also using the, the language of mattering rather than belonging these days. So that's another change that I'll make. But, um, you know, we're, we're not all experts in this. And so I think the, the nice thing about being part of a community is that we can reach out and engage one another to help us with our efforts. Um, this one says, allow more time for reflection and teach students the importance of mindfulness. 
Well, um, those of you who know me know that I will not uh, disagree with uh, that. Um, say yes to more metaphor. Love that. Uh, thanks to Candice and Melissa's session a couple of hours ago. I had potatoes for dinner. <laughs> so awesome. Well, please feel free to continue to add to this Jamboard. It will be part of our conference set of resources. And we really you know, continue to look for your guidance to us on what you'd like to see more of, ways that we can support you in the community, um, and connections that you need um, to make. Um, we also wanted to just um, let you know that we do have a conference evaluation survey, and we would so appreciate it if you would just take a few minutes and, and let us know your thoughts so that we can be sure to design a conference experience for you in the future that really meets your needs. Um, please also let us know if you'd like to become more involved at ABLE. We're always looking for new volunteers. You don't have to be a seasoned expert to participate. Um, you know, we were speaking in the last session about just the need. Sometimes you just need someone who will kind of get the ball rolling, provide, as Kevin says, the spark to, to, to getting something um, sl slowly burning. Thanks, Kate, for that reminder that we need to be slow and intentional in our efforts. So if you'd like to become involved, um, please do let us know via that survey, which you can access via um, the URL or um, the bit.ly um, QR code that is there. Um, lastly, just wanted to remind you that again, the proposals are due on August 15th for the AAC and U annual meeting, which includes the forum on um, open education and digital portfolios and watch for the call for applications coming in 2023 or for 2023 coming in August from AAC and U as well. So um, we hope to see you at, at those events moving forward. And once again, you can stay connected to us through any of these various events that are happening, um, coming up or contribute your work to one of the journals. Your voice really does matter and, um, and sharing what you're working on and your expertise and perspective really helps to make our community so much better. And we um, look forward to seeing you at future events and to hearing your ideas. So I think um, that is it from me. And um, I'm more than happy to stay on for a few minutes to chat with anyone who has questions or um, wants to weigh in. Please do continue to move forward with your e-portfolios, whatever that looks like in your context and watch uh, for notes from us coming about how to access the conference materials moving forward. It's really a privilege to get to work with all of you, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future and to learning more about your ePortfolio work. Thanks so much, everyone. Take good care, stay safe and well, and um, get ready. Take some time to rest up for um, fall or spring or whatever uh, season it might be where you are. <laughs>